All right, Funko friends, if you haven't checked out my part one, make sure you go to that before you check out this video. We already got some awesome pops in that video, so make sure you look at it. Um, if you also looked in that video, we also weighed these out, so now we're going to the heavier ones, so we know we're not going to get the same ones. So let's get right into this. Alright, here we go. Let's get something good. So it's only getting heavier from here. Oh, I can already tell what it is. Oh my gosh, we got so many of these things. My Hero Academia. Mario Togoda. That's my third one. I've bought in Chalice collectible boxes and I've pulled it out of there twice, so. Number three, cool. <laughs> hey, they couldn't all be winners. Alright. Come on, Grail. Fingers are crossed. Fingers are crossed. Oh no, there's tape on this, making the hard to cut the boxes. Yeah, I don't collect my hero academia, that's why I didn't sound very excited about it. Alright, here we go. Let's hope for no anime pops. <laughs> Oh, I jinxed myself. <laughs> I jinxed myself. I definitely did. We got another. Now we got Dragon Ball Z. I mean, that's a cool one. I don't have it yet, so. I mean, it's another Chalice Collectibles. I haven't seen that sticker on there, actually, before. Um, yeah, not one I collect either, so. At least I know somebody that likes these two pops. But, like I said, I already have three of these, so I already... I'm giving one away, so still gotta figure out something for the next two. Alright. Come on, Grail. Come on, Grail. Give me the Grail. Alright. Here we go. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Looks like this is anime box. Um, pulled this one out of Chalice Collectibles before as well, so I actually have him. Nope, I must have moved him, but oh, he's right here, right in front of my face. Look, I pulled him out of Chalice already. So, if you guys are interested in that one, just let me know in the comments below because I will be getting rid of them. I do not collect them. <sighs> This is our last one. Last one, guys. We were supposed to have another one, like I said, but it's missing, so. Fingers are crossed that this is a good one. Uh, really hope it is. Hope we get a top pick. Haven't, like I said, I haven't had too much luck, but that first, uh, those first three weren't too bad. I can't complain about those. From my last video. This one's hard to open. Come on, slide. I'm not mistaken, this was the heaviest one. I hope there's like an Easter egg in here. I have no idea how it works, but in all my life, like I said, there's not going to be. Nope, not in the protector either. So it's. Oh, I cheated, sorry. Oh, wait! Sorry, guys, I cheated. I meant to show you first. Not one I collect, but hey, it's a chase. It's a chase. <laughs> well, we got Vegeta powering up, and we also got Vegeta powering up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, I'll take the chase, though. I think we got our value back for sure, though. I cannot complain. I mean, it, like I said, if you looked at my first three that I got from part one make sure like I said make sure you check that video out uh, you got oh one second guys <laughs> my video got sorry my TV started going off um but yeah I mean I think we definitely got our value back I mean from the box first bo few boxes three boxes that we got from the last video that alone we almost paid for 
all seven of them. Um, so let's go ahead and get the Funko prices of these. We'll do the Chase last. Let's do Roulette. So it's kind of unfair a little bit because I've seen this one before. Pulled this one before. So I'm going to go boom, boom, boom. That's the order that I'm thinking. So let's check it out. Vegeta powering up. $16. Mario Togota, $18. Oh, I was wrong, actually. Super Saiyan Goku, $11. Now, obviously, I think we all know that this one's going to be the most expensive. Ooh, and this one is 55 bucks. So yeah, in total, we'll have to add all of them up. Um, I'll do it after the video, and then I'll put it up here so you can see what the actual price was. But yeah, you cannot beat that. I mean, with these alone, you almost paid for all seven too. So out of all of them, I mean, it's not a bad day. I mean, hey, I got to give credit to Chrono. I mean, I may have been short a box, but I'm very happy with the pulls that I got. So, I mean, like I said, you can't beat that. So thank you, Chrono. I, I, I really appreciate it. But, um... Uh, no, like I said, uh, with that mixing, missing box, it's all good after this, you know, so. But, yeah, guys, thanks for uh, staying tuned for these two uh, parts. I hope you really enjoyed them. I enjoyed unboxing them, and um, like I said, I liked what I got. Let me go grab the other one so you can see all seven. All right, so these are seven that we pulled from the mystery box. I mean, not a bad pull, and I will put up the value for all seven, like I said. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I will have a lot more coming for you guys, so stay tuned for the next one, and we'll see you then. All right, so we finally got our eighth uh, Chrono Toy uh, mystery box in, and I totally forgot to take my address off of the label, so I can't do an unboxing for it, but I ended up pulling another Vegeta powering up. Um, this one had the $16 value, so it wasn't too bad. I mean, it could be worse. I do have three of these now, so I will be getting rid of them. If you guys are interested, just let me know down in the comments below.